Hey there, Dr. Dave, the RV dummy. How are you doing? I'm back. I've got a really important episode for you today, and I'm going to make it really short, but there are three things that we as RVers are very likely concerned about right now. Let's get right into it. Number one, um, as I'm recording this, the financial markets are in disarray. They're up one day, they're down like crazy the next day, they're down like crazy the next day. Why are we concerned as RVers about the financial markets? Well, many of us, many of you have, you know, we're, we're like I said in previous videos, we're not, many of us are not youngsters anymore. We're on the older side. And so you may be, um, taking money, taking um, monthly income from your investments. And unless you own some type of fixed income, unless um, you have a certain amount in your investments that you're counting on getting um, interest from every month or a, a payment from or income from every single month, if these continue to go down, 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 sometimes there's not enough time, depending how old you are, to recover. So it's definitely a concern. What do we do about it? I don't have the answer. One thing I can tell you for sure not to do about it is don't sell. Don't sell right now. When things are down, don't sell. That's what that's what's causing the markets to go way down because everybody seems to be selling and that's stupid. Most of us can weather almost any storm even if it's fairly long. We did it in 2008, 2009. The markets went way down. I'm not saying that's going to happen now. I don't know. I hope not. But it's absolutely a concern for RVers because, again, we are counting on a certain amount of income in many cases. So hang in there. Be frugal. Don't go crazy. Don't panic. Don't have high anxiety level. I'm hoping soon things are going to get better. Number two, what are we concerned about? What are we worried about? Well, I don't know about you. Um, I'm pretty concerned about this, the whole political uh, scene, the um, uh, presidential races, the primary, what's going on now. As Again, as I'm recording, this will become dated pretty soon because pretty soon we're going to know what's going on a little bit more. But um, there is so much craziness out there and I'm not going to even get into real politics and it doesn't even matter my beliefs or what side I'm on. That makes no difference whatsoever. I just know there are some fairly, let's say crazy, dangerous people out there that are trying to become president. And I'm worried. I'm really worried. So again, um, we become anxious. We become concerned as RVers that, you know, I don't want to see this country go to hell. It's just, we work too hard for where we are right now. A lot of us are, um, we're having fun and we just, we just want to see things, good things continue with our country. So that's absolutely number two, a concern. Number three, what is our concern? Number three? Well, you probably guessed it. It's the coronavirus. Right now, again, it's very early that we're seeing a lot of um, cases, um, deaths are occurring. I know it's right now not nearly as bad as the flu, as influenza. I, I know that. I get that. But again, it's unknown. We don't know where this is going to go. And even if it's not that bad, people are panicking all over the world. People are going crazy. And what this is going to do, it's going to affect businesses. It's going to affect schools. It's going to affect... Um, of, go, of the financial markets, it's going to affect. It's going to affect the presidency. Um, we're in like a really, really weird time right now. I'm not proud of it. It's not good, but things do happen. And I'm 64. Many of you are younger. Many of you are older. But we've lived through a lot. This will pass. Things will get better. Um, we can be concerned, but don't panic. Don't go crazy. You know what the answer is? I'm glad you stuck this out because here's my answer. Let's just have fun in our RVs. Yoko and I, our RV right now is in um, right around the corner kind of in uh, indoor storage. We're going to be getting out pretty soon because we're taking some trips and they're going to be incredibly marvelous. And one of the good things about being in the RV is we don't have to be I don't want to minimize this at all, but we don't have to be as concerned 
about the coronavirus as we would be as if we were flying, if we were on some type of public transportation, if we were on a cruise ship. No, we're in our RV. We can keep it as clean as we want. We can come in contact with very few people if that's what we want to do. And we can not only that, but enjoy what this country has to offer. Right now, I'm parked on the side of the road. I felt compelled to do this video right now. I had a lot on my mind, but I'm staring out at the beautiful mountains we have, snow covered in Salt Lake City. It's a beautiful city here, but it's a beautiful country. There are so many great things to see in our RVs. Let's get out on the road. Let's be vigilant. Let's be careful, but let's never forget to enjoy our wonderful investments, our lifestyle, our hobby. This is what we do. And these crazy things, they will pass. And we will continue having a lot of fun driving down the road in our RVs. Please be at peace again. It's, gonna, it's, it's going to get better. I promise you. Until next time, I'm Dr. Dave. Yeah, I'm the RV dummy. I'm not always right, but I'm often right. So I hope I'm right with this one. See you next time.